Well, St. Paldrick's Day is an event run by Chilean School of Medicine students and it's held every year sometime around um, St. Patrick's Day and we all raise money for child cancer research. It's a great way for students to get involved in um, promoting cancer awareness and showing solidarity with the kids. Any kid just wants to go out and play every day. So to have a kid be stuck in a hospital and be bald, which is totally different from anyone else around them. That's kind of why I like St. Baldrick's is you're showing the kids, hey, we're with you, you know, we're helping find cures, we're, you know, the same as you were bald, especially for a woman. We have a few physicians coming out to shave and female med students, so it really makes a strong statement to show our support for the kids. Anything that I could do to call attention to the issue of childhood cancer is important. It seemed like such a small thing to do. And my uh, clinical diagnosis students, the class of 2013, approached me to do this, and I thought, well, why not? And a uh, fighter, and if anybody can whip cancer, Seth can. I love seeing the kids' faces. They're always front row and center. They have their St. Baldrick's t-shirt on, and um, they're mostly laughing because we have a great MC who, you know, will make jokes about things. But I think having them front and center really helps the shavies, you know, put in perspective what they're doing, and. Um, it's, you know, it lifts everyone's spirits, for sure. Shaving your head is a really strong statement. You know, a lot of fundraisers that people get involved in are like a walk or maybe just raising money, but you make a very visible statement um, that, you know, carries through to a lot of people. So I think that's what makes St. Baldrick's a really unique organization. I would have to say that the camaraderie involved with the event is so typical of Tulane and the St. Baldrick's Foundation uh, has assisted tremendously in helping us get the campus together for this. So for a good cause, not only for the kids, but for our community. I lost my mom to cancer, so I know firsthand what it is to, you know, go through the grief and um, all the hard things that go through in your family. So this really helps me um, not only to be involved in the field that I went to, but also kind of remember my mom in a special way. I hope they know that, you know, we're with them. We're fighting with them. Um, you know, you're not in this alone. I know there's probably times when you feel that way, but there's a lot of people who are behind you and are trying to make things better for you.